Hey everybody, welcome to Hit Rewind. It's time for another perfect concert playlist. This time we're going back again, back in time. We're going back to the 50s. Rockabilly, we're doing Elvis, because I mean, come on, the king of rockabilly. And here's the first time we've ever done this. It's a free play for whoever opens. You can have one band, two band, whatever. It Because Elvis, for me, I had a very long list. But do I necessarily want to see them all in concert? No. Did you? No. <laughs> oh, hey, how about I do introductions? I'm the stupid one who runs his mouth too much, and there's the controlled one over here, Ron. <laughs> the controlled one? I wouldn't say that. <laughs> you know, I'm in the same boat there. But I, I imagine most of my stuff is older and more upbeat. I, I kind of tend, you know... Elvis has got a really long list, but I only listen to about half of it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so are you more young Elvis or Vegas Elvis? There are a few standouts in his later years, but for the most part, it's young Elvis. I think I'm a Vegas Elvis, which is weird because I didn't expect that going in, but with my list, I started calling through. Here's the problem with Elvis or Vegas Elvis a lot of covers. You know, I mean, it yeah. was like a 10, 15% mix when he was younger. Boy, by the time he got to Vegas, it was like a 50 50 shot. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, he made them popular enough that, like, a lot of people who don't know any better don't realize that it, they're not his. Yeah. So. Um, the, I didn't, I actually didn't know a couple of these were covers until I did some research into them. So, um, uh, did you choose one person to open or two? I'm, I'm assuming one because that's kind of what we discussed. Yeah, I seemed to, or picked one. Okay, I kind of so, wish I'd have went with something a little more upbeat because the more I went into this, the, <laughs> the more I wish I went with some more upbeat, but I found some good ones. Well, who is your opener? <laughs> Chris Isaac. No, so I love. Off the wall there, but. Yeah, I love Chris Isaac. I never thought that was going to be an option because he's newer, but he does. No, he has some albums, especially lately, that are more upbeat. He's more yeah. of a crooner in the first half of his career. And then all of a sudden, I think it was about 10 years ago, he did a uh, a Sun Records tribute album. And then yes. like the next two albums after that are really kind of upbeat and old school, like Elvis style. Um, Definitely. So go ahead. What are, your, what are your Chris Isaac songs? So, of course, Wicked Game is in there. That's, that's how I knew he existed, uh, 1989. Um, what was the movie that was in? It was a. It was wild at heart. I think. Wild at heart. Yeah, just weird movie, but good song. He Uh, had a. (laughs) I knew him more because he had a very funny comedy where he played himself like a hyper realized version of himself on Showtime, and then VH1 called the Chris Isaac Show. Really? Yeah, it's it's a it's a musical comedy. It lasted three seasons. Yeah, unfortunately, the boy here that didn't have cable growing up, I missed yeah. out on a lot of good stuff. But <laughs> uh, let's see. So, oh, and I apologize ahead of time. My voice is kind of going, so if I sound froggy, uh, thank Happy the Hobo. Um, <laughs> for those of you know, you know. Anyway, <laughs> uh, dancing would be uh, number two. Uh, gone riding. No, I tried to pick up a lot of like a lot of the ones that he had a little little more upbeat uh-huh. some of them are slow like wicked game definitely but definitely have good powerful lyrics in it um i did notice a um reoccurring theme with his music though as you go throughout the years that a lot of it had to do with either he cheated or she cheated or he's lonely and it's it's like almost every like 80 90 percent of his music is about that at least back in the day. <laughs> yeah. So, did you do like you normally do when you do you start kind of at the beginning, or do you pick a medley? How did you go through these songs? Well, I started at the beginning at first, but I had Wild or Wicked Game in there first, and okay. I came later. Um, because again, it's the only one I knew right off my top of my head. But um, let's see, where was I going? Right in number three, Kings of the Highway. There's a fun little song called Round and Round. Uh, there's a whole lot of breaks in this song that would be a perfect moment for them to, for the instrumentalist to shine a bit, you know. Um, do your solo thing. Um, I Want Your Love off of San Francisco Days. Baby Did a Bad Thing. Oh, yeah, that's the one from another movie. <laughs> it's funny, he's so known for his two songs from movies, and he's done acting. Um, but that one's from Eyes Wide Shut. That I did not know. I haven't seen that movie in well since it came out on VHS. Yeah. So, <laughs> was it 
DVD. I don't remember. It was old enough to be VHS, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, 99. 99, okay. Um, let's see. Baby, baby did a bad thing. I believe uh, Wandering. And I did find one from 2021, and there's more, uh, but I was already at 10 at this point. Uh, so I picked Dixie Fried. Okay, I didn't know he had any new stuff because his Wikipedia says his 2015 album, which I believe is his best album, is his last. So I wonder if he's just doing like singles because um, that seems to be the way, the way it's going. Weird Al was talking about that, but he didn't think that he was going to be able to do any albums anymore because everything comes so much faster and sales are terrible that he would just do singles. Right, right. I don't know if Dixie Fried is his song or not. I didn't really look into it. Um, no. Okay. No, no, no. I'm seeing, oh, uh, it goes back as far as 56. So that's Carl Perkins. So it might be an album of covers. Okay. Yeah, he really uh, first comes the night um, and Down in Flames from his 2015 album, I think, are his two best, like more recent songs. Um, he's he's worked with Michelle Branch, too, if you remember. She was a, kind of a teen yes. pop artist. Um, I just think he's really underrated. He's hard to categorize because. He kind of fits in that whole Harry Connick thing, but he also has the Roots Rock thing that Dwight Yoakam was doing. He's very unique. Yep, yeah, definitely. A artist of his own. Yeah. All right, so my... Oh, hey, can I ask you, who would be your alternate openers? If, like, who were you bouncing around in your head? We were bouncing. I just happened to have my list open here. So um, I was looking at Johnny Horton, Dwayne Eddy, uh, were a couple I were looking at. Okay. Like we're looking at... You brought up, at. <laughs> yeah. You looked at, you brought up Roy Orbison with me. I think that would have been a really good yeah, one. That would have been a good one. Uh, Buddy Holly could have worked really well. I just I was really hard pressed to think of someone, and and so I tried to find somebody that was kind of underrated. People don't talk about, and it was Johnny Burnett, and yes. he's more known for his solo stuff because his big one was Year Sixteen, which most people know that um, <laughs> Ringo did. Um, but he had a, a group with his brother back in the late 50s, the Johnny Burnett Trio, but he was a really complicated artist because he was very, very driven, but he was also not not in the best way possible. Like He was filled with rage all the time because he couldn't get things the way that he wanted to in his head, and he would fight with his brother. Literally, the last time they performed together was he beat the crap out of his brother on stage. And, uh, oh. yeah, and then he went solo for a few years, and then he got in a drunken incident on a boat, and he fell off and drowned, I believe. So, yeah. Poor guy, didn't live very long, but he left behind a, an interesting legacy. A lot of songs about trains. I'm just going to say this right now. A lot of songs about trains for some reason. Um, you mostly know, if anything he did, is covers. So, like, Year 16, but also... Uh, my opening track is Train Kevin Rowland, which Aerosmith had a big hit with. Well. Yep. Uh, Tear It Up um, was another one that got covered a bunch. Uh, Rockabilly Boogie is kind of a fun, it's one of their sillier yeah. songs. Um, Honey Hush. Uh, Drinking Wine Spo. Oh, this is hard to say. Drinking Wine Spo Odiote. <laughs> That's how it's, it's the, the, the title is spelled that way. It's weird. Um, All By Myself. And then the last one is um, I'm trying to remember the movie. Uh, it's one of these movies in the 50s where they just gathered a bunch of artists together to perform, and there's like a threadbare plot. It has Tuesday Weld, and then I cannot remember, like Rock and Roll USA or something like that. And I saw a clip of them, and it was just killer. And he was howling and just rocking it out, and it was Lonesome Train, which I think is their best track. Okay. All right, so it is time for our headliner, Elvis. Hey, Elvis, baby. Uh, hoorah, mama. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna sound like a broken record for a lot of people here. I don't imagine, but um, but like you said, there's a different Elvis for everyone, apparently. So yeah. um, I started. Okay, no particular order here. I have Heartbreak Hotel. Hound Dog is one of my all-time favorites. Love Me Tender. Got a throw love song in there, and that's one I like to play on the guitar every now and again. Um, Jailhouse Rock. Return to Cinder, um, In the Ghetto. And that one, I think that one leads more to like newer Elvis, like later Elvis. Yeah, that's like 70, I think, 60 and 70. <laughs> yeah, but like I said, there's some standouts I love. Burning Love, uh, Little Less Conversation is one of my absolute favorites. It is. Now, it's just do, you like the, 
do you like the original version or the remix version that was used for the Las Vegas TV show? I like the new version. Yeah, <laughs> but see. I do. I do original. I do like the original too. I just I like uh, when they do the remixes and they get a little more bass that they would have never had back in the day. You know, it just feels a little more fuller. Yeah, yeah. I, I like that. And for the purists out there, I'm sorry, but <laughs> <laughs> I do love my albums. Don't get me wrong, and I pop them on from time to time. Um, but every now and again, I just want I just want a little more bass. You know, um, blue suede shoes, little sister. Can't remember who covered that one. Did somebody cover that one? I more Elvis than like I, I'm figuring that most album. most Elvis songs. That's the funny thing about him is that as many covers as he's done, they've been covers of his songs. Right. <laughs> uh, I do have a bonus song on here, uh, just for fun. Is Blue Moon of Kentucky? I like his version of it. Okay. How many songs total did you have? Uh, total. Uh, what do I have? Twenty one. Okay. Yeah. So I, that would be a really short concert. Yeah. But. See, I almost thought about adding another person because I only got to twenty six. Um, yeah, normally, you'd have a third person who does like another five songs or yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. So I feel like we cheated the audience on this one, but sorry. Yeah. Um. <laughs> all right. So I'm opening with King Creole. Uh. He, now, is Guitar Man his, or was that was that a cover that he took from Jerry Reed? I'm assuming it came from I Jerry Reed first. Think Guitar Man is Jerry Reed. Okay. Um. A, a remix. Uh. Bossa Nova Baby. I absolutely adore the remake or the remix of it, not remake. Um. Return to Sender. All shook up. Blue suede shoes. I thought it was pork salad Annie forever and i looked and i still don't understand it what's polk salad what is polk salad <laughs> let's look that up yeah um it's now or never little sister how'd you do um hound dog jailhouse rock suspicious minds um i don't think you said this one but i love this uh it's a mid-60s rubbernecking um <laughs> yes uh, the Viva Las Vegas remake. Never ever bring that ZZ Top remake in my face. I will throw up. It is so <laughs> god. It's the worst. The pits of ZZ. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the little less. Uh, I love you, ZZ. But <laughs> yeah, that's that's the one. I think they even knew they screwed up, and then that's when they went back to that roots sound. Like, what have we done? Um, a little less conversation. The remix. Uh, You're the devil in disguise. Burning love. Can't help falling in love, and then ending with one that kind of got discovered. I don't know. I don't know where the song came from. If it's from the movie or it was found in the vault or what it is. But you know the Elvis movie that came out what last year or two years ago. Um, yes. If I can dream is such a massive epic song, and I thought instead of doing like um, an encore, that's it. Just end there. It's so big. There you go. That's it. That's my whole list. Did you find out what polk salad was? I did. What is it? Polk salad. No, I don't know what polk salad, polk salad Annie is, but it might speak to maybe she's toxic. Um, the dish is so named because it is made with pokeweed, a pervasive green that can be toxic when ingested improperly. Ew. So I wonder if polk salad Annie is Yeah, that has to be metaphor. Slightly toxic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so I apologize, everybody. It is a quick episode, but uh, we got things to do. So hopefully this will hold you over till we do our next episode, which I have called already. Oh, uh, cheap trick is going to be our headliner. <laughs> Opening with whatever you want, glam rock. Ron, you can choose whoever you want. I have chosen Sweet and T Rex. So, yeah, so you can pick whoever you want to open for Cheap Trick. So you have Sweet and T-Rex. Yeah, I mean, if you want to go with those two, but I know that there are a couple of artists that we did on the show that you were never able to uh, have a part in, and they are very in line with Cheap Trick, It's and it's Aerosmith and Kiss. We never got to do those on the... Well, I did them, but I did them with another person before you joined the show. So you missed out on... If you want to do Kiss and... and uh, uh, there's also Def Leppard. <laughs> those three guys that we already did on the show before you uh, you joined. Uh, I can get you some glam rock. Don't you worry. Yeah, all right. <laughs> S-A-T-U-I-T-A-Y. Nice. <laughs> 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 
All right, you know where to find us. We got to head out. Uh, see you later. All right, bro. Peace. Hear, hear you later. Uh, whatever, you know what I mean. <laughs>